prefer to videotape with any way like you can zoom in and out and it doesn't muffle the sound like usual and that's because I'm using what is called the leaf l-e-e-f it's kind of a external hard drive for your phone or your um, iPad and you stick it in and then it uh, allows you to videotape and it has a lot more storage. This one has 52 gigabytes or is it 32? I think it's 32 gigabytes combined with my 16 on the phone. And so that's a lot of gigabytes. And so I'm able to videotape or take pictures and you leave it clipped in your phone and it never says cannot take picture. I love it. And then I can unclip it, stick it into my um, laptop and transfer the video data onto the laptop so then I can process my videos. I love it. So I'm using my iPad to show you what it is. So it's this thing that sticks in your phone. You see that? Do you guys see my phone, big phone case? I love it. But anyway, see? It sticks. It's called the leaf. And it's got 32 gigabytes of memory. So we are Black Friday. Sh I wanted that. Why didn't you get it? I don't know. Is it around well, the collar? It. It's oh, beautiful. Isn't it fabulous? I think it looks gorgeous on you. I it love goes it. around the coat? Uh, it goes yeah, around, around your neck. Yeah, just around your neck to keep you warm. It's fabulous. Not How much is it? It's the right price today. This is my cousin Ida from Who New can't York. Stop shopping. And she can't stop shopping in what Canada. What does that say? You have on your glasses? 1450 30% off. 30% off. Ding ding ding. Oh, it's and black. I have I have a black one, but I have boots that color. Tick tock. Come on. 10 9 <laughs> 8 7. Should I? Should I? Look how there's nobody online. Boom. Deanne, should I just when you <laughs> Should I buy that? Because you thought it was I have to leave the store. I have burgundy Uggs. What do you think? Would I wear Dan it? Dan is not. No, you would flipping. not. Flipping. Dan's like, no. no you All right, this. then. TikTok mm, gone. So we left my mother getting a pat, petty Manny. Or Manny Petty. I know why people don't say petty Manny. Manny Petty. Look at Ida can't leave. So we're going to see how she's doing. There's my mama. She's like, hey, thanks. There she is. And I didn't want to do it myself. And then Ida was just this here yesterday. And she's so. just fixing. She's just going to file. Like on the end there, it was snaggy. Don't you love it here, Ida? I love it. Turner and Ozzy are here. So what are we making, boys? Ozzy, what are you making? Muffins. Muffins? Donuts. Donuts, yes. And what are you going to put on your donut? You. The white powder? The white powder. And you're, you want cinnamon sugar? Sure. That's what you told me. Yes. Are you trying to be shy? Now that you're older, you think you're all that and a bag of chips. So these are our donuts. I'm just going to go over here and put them in the pan. <laughs> Bless you. Bless you. That's my tester, so it's all done. So I'll get that out. And we're doing... We're going to do um, our donuts, and then we're going to have... Turner wants cinnamon sugar, and Ozzy wants icing sugar on his. So let's get him in the pan. I'm done. Are the donuts all done? No. Well, they need to be. Well, that's not fair. There, so I'll be back when they're done. I'm going to sample the donuts, so go ahead. I thought you said vlogger. You said papa. Papa. So there's only two kinds. Yeah, there's just the cinnamon. Let's see, let's see. Cinnamon sugar and the icing sugar. So there's our plate of donuts the boys made. Okay, go ahead, Papa. All right, I will sample. You made so much cinnamon and not a lot of magic. No, I did exactly the same. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's oh, underneath. It's back there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How's that? Mm -hmm. That's Ozzy's face. Mm -hmm. Oh, 
Oh, yeah. Mm. Mm. So That's the sugar. best one. That's good. That is very good. Isn't it good? Flavor. It's got texture. It's a donut. Yes, it is. With ah! it. And it has a hole in it. <laughs> That's a good one. Okay, so try the other one. <laughs> try the other. Or do you want to cleanse your palate first with your texture. coffee? Oh, yeah. It's a donut. <laughs> Papa's cleansing his palate first. Okay, now okay, so he's going to try, try the, cinnamon. the one that Turner likes, cinnamon sugar. He <laughs> says those taste just like the ones at the mm -hmm. exhibition. Turner likes it. It must be dust. The minute donuts. It's so good that my lips have sugar on them. Mm -hmm. And it's got mm, crunchiness. Another poem. Cinnamon. <laughs> Another poem. Is that what and it's, uh, <laughs> it feels like I can, I can smell it in my lips. You can smell mm. it in your lips. Mm, you got so, nostrils in your lips. The taste, the taste, my taste buds are so, mm, they're working so good right now. Oh! You think that's funny? That's so good. He says, another poem. <laughs> so they're good, hey? So we are at Turner's Basketball. Diaper. And Turner's number right here, number two. Nice, nice pass. Good pass. Oh, good try. Oh, up again. Who's got four? Oh, nice sneaky little pass there. Go, Turner. This is the first time in I don't know how many days that I've been just by myself. It's so quiet. Oh, I'm enjoying the peace and quiet. But I did want to come on here and talk to you guys about something. Um, lately, of the last maybe I want to say since end of September, so the last six weeks, I have noticed this clear fluid coming out of my nose. Now, first I thought I had just had a runny nose and it was a cold and no big deal. And then while we were preparing for the craft sale, you know, because I was a little bit busier and moving things and all that, every time I tilt my head this way, all this clear stuff starts pouring out of my nose. And I started realizing, wait a minute, this is not snotty nose. This is brain fluid coming out of my nose. Ugh. So I phoned my neurosurgeon, and I thought they would just kind of laugh at me and say, oh, well, your surgery was in June, shouldn't be an issue, blah, blah, blah. But no, I have to go in to see the neurosurgeon. And it's so funny because my family goes, well, I hope it's snot. It's not, it's snot. So we're hoping it's snot, <laughs> but yeah, it probably is. So I don't know what's going to happen. We'll just have to deal with that as it comes and um, they'll have to repair it or relieve. Apparently there's a lot of pressure, not a lot of pressure, but there's pressure on the brain from too much fluid and it's draining out through a possible tear in the dura on the brain from where the surgery was. So... You guys, I'm so done with this. My brain surgery was so summer 2017. I'm so done. I don't want to deal with this. I'm sick of it and I'm done with it. And I don't want it to be that. So I'm just praying it's snot. It's snot. <laughs> so, yeah, I just thought I'd let you guys know that. So I'll keep you abreast of, of the happenings with my nose and fluid etc but it is the strangest thing because it pours out of your nose it looks like water it's just a little bit thicker than water and it's like what it just pours all the way down like it's just pours it's the strangest weirdest thing it doesn't hurt but when you know that that's your brain coming out of your nose Ugh. it's just not pleasant. Do you know what I mean? 
So anyway, yeah, I got this yesterday. Can you see this little M right there? We went, when we went to Ardeen's and bought all that stuff, so that was one of the pieces that I bought, but I love it. Right here, not this wrinkly old thing, but that. Yeah, I love the little M and my heart and my crystal. So it's so peaceful here. So I'm just going to sit here and chillax and just literally rest until the next onslaught of my sister said you should have a vacancy sign on your front door it says no vacancy and fill it in nana's nana's hotel hotel nana papa is full and no vacancy you know anyway i love my booze but yeah right now i just need some time to process this what's happening here that's what it is Anyway, I'm going to go chill. Bye. About going out there. Two cronies sitting here eating Chinese food, watching Moana. Want some more, boo? Okay. Well, then head on back. Mm. Put that stone up there. This is a life handy. Is it good? Why aren't you trying to tell me? Is it me good, me? boo? You said that's what you wanted. Num num. Oops. It is. There it is. When I die. There you go. I'm going to come back as one of them. <laughs> or I chose the wrong Indy, one. look at your new jammies. Don't be looking at the oranges. Hi. Do you look nice in your new jammies that mommy got you? They're pretty, aren't they? You're such a handsome boy. Yes, my mouth. That's my that's papa. That's my nose. He had a nice ah. bath and coconut oil all over you. Yep. Oh, oh thank for you, the nose. Tata. Good boy. Thank you. Oh, that's one for enough. papa. One for me. One. That's yeah. it. No yeah. more. Andy is just going to do this whispering thing. That's my phone. Look. Say bye bye. Bye bye. That's a good boy. Say bye bye. So I have risen, and Janet is coming by with Avery to pick up some books that this lady dropped off for her. And so I quickly mixed up for Eve some reindeer. I had these reindeer bags, I was going to make them for all the grandkids, but. There's tons of glitter. Can you see? I don't know if you can see. Oh, there on the bottom, you can kind of see. There's glitter mixed in with the reindeer. You guys know all about this. And then you tell them to sprinkle it outside on Christmas Eve so that Rudolph and the reindeers can find their way to their house. The glitter will shine on them. Christmas orange and some reindeer food. Just because it's kind of nice when someone, a child, oh, they're here. See, that's how quick you can surprise a little kid. So quickly. Grab some glitter, put it in the baggie, and put some oatmeal in it. Done and done. So look who came and visited me and check out her outfit. Wow. Can you spin? Wow. So that's the cowboy from... That's the cowgirl. Her name's Jessie. Oh, Jesse, where is she from? Toy Story. That's what I thought. I didn't know there was a cowgirl. Oh, what did she say, Avery? Come here, Eve. Tell me. <laughs> Yeehaw! What did she Your say? <laughs> what did she say? Your <laughs> <laughs> you are too much, sweetie pie. Your hair looks pretty. Who did it? Mama? Uh -huh. Oh, it looks nice. Well, it certainly won't be granny. <laughs> <laughs> I got something for you. This is reindeer food. It's very important. Okay. In here is glitter. Can you see the glitter in the food? So on Christmas Eve, you sprinkle this outside so Santa's reindeer, the glitter can shine and they can find their way to your house. Oh. Okay. So we're sitting here having our great cup supper. Compliments of Richard. Thank you very much. You're welcome.
So Richard and I are just going out shopping. He's taken me to different spots so I can get what I need to get for holiday shopping. This thing is just a cowl thing. It looks beautiful as you can see the sun just beating down, but there is a breeze that is like biting the hawk. So first stop is going to be Dollar Tree because I want to get in, uh, not Indie, Aussie, a bunch of really fun stuff because he loves mixed media and he loves word puzzles and crossword puzzles. He's the funniest little guy. He's the hardest to buy for. But then I start thinking about all that stuff and he loves life hacks. Oh my God. Any life hacks or true facts about, you know, the world, loves it. Especially if it's like, did you know? Oh my goodness. So I'm going to see what they have here at Dollar Tree. So I'm listening to that Kelly Clarkson song, What Doesn't Kill You Makes You Stronger. It's so true. Because lately, you guys, this nose thing and my just general health, I'm not feeling 100%, so I'm feeling sorry for myself. And I, Richard ran in the store to get some sugar because we forgot we always buy our sugar if we use sugar from the bulk bar and it's like granularly, you know that stuff. Ugh. Like we both don't know the name of it. We're both like that yellowy stuff that's granular. But anyway, it's kind of like uh, what do they call that sugar? I can't remember. But anyway. It's raw sugar. So he went in there and I'm just sitting in there because I had this episode in the Dollar Tree and I just didn't feel good and I was nauseous and my nose is running and you know, wah, 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 big baby, big baby Monica. So then when I got in the car and sat down, I said, oh, we forgot our sugar. So he said he'd go in and then that song, what doesn't kill you, makes you stronger, stand a little taller. I'm like, hell yeah, it hasn't killed me yet. I am gonna be fine. This is just a bump in the road. And the reason it's affecting me more this time is because I'm so done with all this. And so to keep coming back to the brain surgery crap and dealing with stuff in my brain, I'm done with. And it's like you finish doing something, a job, and you have to keep coming back to fix it, coming back to fix it. Done, you know? So. I will face whatever I have to and today I'm going shopping so there universe that's what I'm doing got some ginger ale for my stomach and I'm going shopping and I'll shop as long as I can last whatever so I hope you guys are having a good day I love ginger ale mm. even though it's the only thing I don't buy that is no sugar. I love ginger ale just the way it is. You know what I mean? Oh, this guy just got out of his car beside me. And the wind is blowing so hard. And his car kind of hit our... I heard a little thump. And he, and he goes, it's a good thing the wind isn't blowing it. No, what did he say? Good thing cars weren't... We weren't parked any closer. And in my head, I'm like, but yeah, kind of hit my car. But you're sort of cute. So I said, ah, don't worry about it. I don't think it was anything major. I think he just bumped the mirror with his door. Whatever. Bigger problems, you know what I mean? I don't even know if I'll tell Richard. I'll just have him have a look in case there's a big, huge dent, which there is not. But we shall see. And? No, I didn't see anything. You never know after a while because people, you know, you don't see it right away. But he was very nice. It doesn't matter if he's nice or not. There's, there's times you can see. You can see it. And he was kind of cute. And he was nice. It doesn't matter. He was cute or not. He's still trying to cover up. He was head. not. He said, I'm... Jeez. Oh, you should have seen Richard a minute ago. I couldn't get the camera going fast enough. He was laying on the ground like a surveyor trying to see if there was any, you know, injury to his vehicle. There wasn't. His name is Matthew. Look, it says on his license plate. Matthew. Matthew? 
and he was you messed cute. up you messed up my car and he know. said i'm sorry and i said don't worry about it Matthew. don't worry about it yeah right but is then that, i thought your, what that if there car? was a big dent in it i would have said don't worry about it if it was my car no you wouldn't have. yes i would have <laughs> why wouldn't i have you said look the guy hit my car and I'm like, he's paying for that one time, though, someone did hit my car by mis like I don't even know. He opened his car, or he was backing out of somewhere, and he backed. You know how you back up and you're you're really close to your car, but not. And it was such a subtle. I didn't even know I was in the car driving, like parked. I didn't even know he hit me. So he gets out of the car, and he says, "Here," and I go, "What?" And he gives me a hundred bucks. I'm like, "What?" He goes, "I just hit your car." And I think I, there's no damage, but I just can't. I don't. I, don't, I, I just got paid. Here's a hundred bucks. Yeah, right. So I, I said, that, but he didn't do anything. I got out. There was nothing. Hundred dollars caused caught. You know, hundred dollars will, will cover just the paint. But he didn't do anything. No. I'm, I'm, I'm just telling you. I know. I understand. These people if will there give had you been hundred dollars, it would be not hundred dollars. It'd be a thousand dollars. I know, but the two of us. <laughs> went to the back of the vehicle where he hit. We looked all around him and I. There was nothing, not even dust removed from the vehicle. And he gave me a hundred dollars. I'm like, shopping. So I want you guys to help me say goodbye to this Christmas tree. It has brought us lots of joy over the years. It's been through ups, downs, it's traveled near and far, but I'm done with it. It's just, I'm done with it. It's so rickety and the lights don't work. And there's so many trees that are so inexpensive now. And I, I actually want a smaller tree. I want a narrow tree because we don't have space for this big old thing anymore. So everyone say bye. Bye, old Christmas tree, and thank you very much for all the love and joy you have brought to my family. We got Indy this little pet puppy, and Fitz is freaking out. Come on, Fitz, it's okay. Look, it's the puppy. It's just a puppy. It's just a stuffed animal. Look. It's not real. Look. It's not real. Look. What is it? The puppy. Oh. See? It's not real. It's just a, <laughs> it's just a stuffed animal. See? Oh, no, he didn't know. No. Oh, is that something? Isn't that funny? That's like wonderful. What is he barking at? Because I had laid out all the some of the gifts here to wrap, and he was just a barking like crazy. Like, what are you barking at? Doesn't this puppy look like Percy? Look at him. Almost the same spots. And um, Indy loves Percy, so we got him a big Percy. So in the middle of me wrapping presents, I got two parcels in the mail. Actually, they were delivered, weren't they, Richard? Oh, this is, I just ordered this from the boys from Old Navy. That's what this one is. This is a Christmas present. This one, I'm not sure what it is, but let's get it opened. Okay, there's a little story behind this. I don't know if you can see the white embossing where it says KKW Fragrance. I bought into the hype of, well, okay, you guys know I'm a late night shopper <laughs> and I was watching a video about Kim Kardashian West new scent and that she is only making so many and then the scent will never be replaced before. I have never in my life bought a perfume without smelling it. I don't even wear perfume. I wear body oils. But this one, because it was shaped like a rose quartz crystal, look at this. I bought it for myself for my birthday. And I believe it comes in here with rose quartz crystal. Are you kidding me? See, this, this kind of packaging is right up my alley. 
Let's see what's in here. Yeah, look. You get, how many do you get? One, two, three pretty big size rose quartz crystals. And then it says, The stone of love and emotional healing enhances self-love and self-acceptance. This is one of my most favorite crystals anyway. I have them all over. But these crystals are quite nice. Look at them. Let me put them in my hand. Hang on. Look at that. You're supposed to wear one in your bra. To keep, you know. I'm a crystal believer though, so... For those of you that don't believe, oh well. But I love, oh there's a ribbon here that helps you take it out, I think. I think it's to, oh yes. Let me get this out. Yeah. Okay, so I've got it out. So let's just pop this off. It's really cold, it's been in the car. So it just pulls off. And now I'm going to try it on my arm here. I think I'm going to like it because it's gardenia and citrus, and I love both. Let me see. Give it a second for the air to go off of it. And let me see. It's very, like, strong. You don't need much. Mmm, it's pretty. Well, I like that birthday present. And before you guys think, oh, super extravagant, this was only $35. This is the small bottle, which is plenty big for me. Oh, it's really pretty, and I love the box. Well, hooray for KKW. I have to say, I do like it. As far as perfumes go, it smells really pretty. The only reason I got it, you know me, is the crystal thing. Mm. So we'll give it some time. Well, let me open this other parcel. Look at this room. But, you know, Christmas wrapping, that's what happens. Okay, let me get this one open. So the uh, verdict on the uh, perfume, Richard loves it. He said, mmm, that's really nice. I like it, but I would only have to have a little, little bit of it. Do you know what I mean? Not a big, huge, or you're going to smell like that old lady with the gardenia smell, you know, with the big red lips, and she's old, and she has too much perfume. It's like that. But, oh, it's really, really, really nice. Very nice. I don't know. I keep showing you my wrist like you guys can smell it, but anyway, it's really good. So I got a big, big head start on my wrapping. So I got all this done. Some of the bags are half empty because there's more to come to go into them. So, but I still want to get started. Now my bed's pretty much cleaned off. That's garbage. And this, I'm giving this to my son-in-law who absolutely loves to cook. So I'm going to write out a whole bunch of my recipes. I'm going to sit in bed and do that right now. These are my all-time tried and true. And I'm going to give that to him and uh, wrap that up. And that's the last one. My tissues for my continuous droopage for my nose. And that's that. So that was a lot. And then those are leftover bags and paper. So I'm going to close out here and hope you guys are all getting ready for whatever you celebrate or nothing at all. And um, I hope you get a little bit of a head start like me. I'm doing this particularly this year. It's great to be a, have a head start. If this stuff from my nose just ends up being nothing, then I'm way ahead of the game. If it ends up that I have to have um, some kind of procedure done before Christmas, then I'll be ready. So either way, it's a win-win, you know, whether it is or it's not. Get it? Ha, ha, ha. Anyway, we will see you all next weekend, and thanks so much for watching. <laughs>